Perhaps you have a shiny new PC and you want to store about the setter on it. You also have another about the setter system that you invested so much time organizing your games, picture snaps, video snaps, and all your settings. And you really don't want to repeat the whole process again on your new PC. Here's an easy way to do this. Or you've recently outgrown the hard drive, SSD drive, or thumb drive of your about the setter system and you would like to clone everything on a much larger drive. How do you do this? Well, it turns out I get these two questions all the time, and I finally decided to give you a quick tutorial on how to accomplish this. Are you ready? Let's do it. Greetings everyone and welcome to Batasara Nation, the number one fan site for Batasarans. So it wasn't too long ago when I did a product review on the GMK Tech NUC Buck 7. This unit came with a built-in 512 gigabyte SSE drive, a 2242 SSE drive. And I decided I wanted to upgrade it to a 2 terabyte SSE drive. And since I get a lot of questions about how to clone your Batocera drive, I decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do a tutorial. And essentially, there's two ways to do this. You can use a paid software application. There's this one right here, one of the more popular ones. Uh, but there's also this one here. And it turns out I tested both of them. And this one gave me the best results. I also found it to be much faster. Uh, and they're pretty much also priced the same way. Okay, about 40 bucks or so. So let me go ahead and show you this approach. And after this, I'll show you the free approach, okay? Now, in my case, I also needed an enclosure adapter to put the 2242 SSD drive, okay, so I can clone it. And among the different products out there, I think this is one of the best ones. This right here. I've tried several of them from Amazon. I think, again, this is the, probably the best one. Uh, and mainly because of this, because it allows you to use either 2230, which is from the Steam Deck, 2242, 2260 or 2280. So it's very flexible and it always seems to work quite well without giving me much trouble. And in fact, you can also use this to clone, for example, your Steam Deck if you want to upgrade it to a bigger 2230 SSD drive. Okay. So I, again, highly encourage this one. I will be posting a link in my video description. Let's go ahead and minimize everything. Let's go ahead and load it up. And there it goes. Again, it loads up much faster than the other one does. So there's my original SSD drive, okay? And I want to clone it to this one right here. So go ahead, select this one right here. You can see you selected all three partitions. That's what you want. And from there, go ahead, click on Disk Clone. And you want to choose the Sector by Sector Clone. This will give you the best and safest results. Go ahead, select Next. Then I ask you where. Select the destination disk. Uh, in this case, this is the one we want, right? I'll go ahead and select that one, and then press Next. Then I'll tell you, you know, are you sure you want to pick that one? Because, you know, it's going to erase everything from that particular SSC drive. You say, yes, I do want that. And this is the final stage. Click on Finish, and it will begin the process, okay? And once you're done, you can just take it out from the enclosure, stick it into your computer, and it should work quite well. Okay, so that's the paid approach that you can use. Now, let me go ahead and show you the free approach. So once again, I'll put in the two terabyte SSD drive in this right here. And then I'm going to go ahead uh, and use the line of etcher. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and flash about to set an image. There's my image, about to set a 35. And from there, go ahead and select the two terabyte SSE drive. And you go ahead and flash. It's going to ask you, hey, are you sure you want to do that? And you say yes. And you go ahead and do it. Okay. Once it's done, go ahead and take out the SSE drive and go ahead and put it into your about to set a PC system. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and load up my about to set a system and I'll show you the next steps. All right, so about the set of system has loaded up. Let's go ahead and press F1 on the keyboard. You can see yeah, this is a two terabyte SSD drive, okay? 
All right, and from there, go ahead and plug in your original SSD drive or your thumb drive where you have you about to set a system. In my case, there's an SSD drive, which I put in that enclosure, which I mentioned earlier. So we're going to go ahead and plug it in right now. And you can see there, you see share one. Go ahead and click on that. You're also going to see about to set a one. You can go ahead and ignore that. That's the boot drive. This is the one you want. So go ahead, this is a user data, and just go ahead and select everything. From there, control C, and go into your share, and just copy and paste it right here. It's gonna ask you, hey, do you sure you wanna overwrite everything? Just go ahead, apply to all existing files, and then overwrite, okay? Now, since I've already done it, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel everything, but that's how you do it. Copy everything, and then once you're done, you can go ahead and and uh, close the window and just go ahead and reboot the system all together. And once you reboot your system, you're going to notice that all the games are there. See that? Everything is there. Now, the only thing you do have to go back and change is, of course, your theme. So go into user interface settings and pick the theme that you originally had. It. In my case, it was this one. And there it is. Okay, and from there, any changes you made in the theme, you're gonna to have to go back and change those as well. So, the only thing that does not copy is the changes you made here in theme configuration. Again, so just go ahead and redo any changes here, and from that point on, you're good to go. All right, and that's how it's done. Again, this is the free version of how to clone your part to set a system. All right, in short. If you want a hassle-free experience with no loss of any theme configuration settings, then your best bet is to use the cloning software that I demonstrated earlier. In addition, you can also use the cloning software to create a backup of your to set a system in case you want to experiment or try beta software. On the other hand, if you don't mind reapplying your theme configuration settings again, then you can definitely use the free approach and save yourself some money. The choice is yours, and I hope that showing you both methods can help you make your best decision. Well, that's a wrap. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and like it. That would really help me out with YouTube's algorithms. If this is your first time watching a video from Bot to Set a Nation, then I highly encourage you to check our YouTube channel as well as our website at botdesetanation.com. That will give you a great overview of what Bot to Set is all about and whether this will meet your emulating needs. Finally, I want you to know I've got a lot more videos coming out, so therefore please consider subscribing so you'll stay on top of the latest and greatest of Bot to Set. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time on Bata Nation. Bye.